Мы благодарим заместителя генерального секретаря. Вашингтон, уверен в свою безнаказанность, продолжает сеять разрушение и хаос на Ближнем Востоке. Крупнейшая с 2003 года авиационная операция Соединенных Штатов в регионе, подаваемая, подаваемая Джо Байденом как акт возмездия за атаку с применением БПЛА в неустановленное происхождение по незаконно находящейся в Сирии американской базе, не имеет оправданий. And thank you, Under Secretary General DiCarlo, for your briefing, as reflected in Article 51 of the UN Charter. Colleagues, on February 2nd, and at President Russia called this meeting under the false pretense that the United States has no ground to respond to attacks that have killed U.S. personnel. It bears repeating, therefore, that the actions U.S. forces took on February 2 are necessary and proportionate, consistent with international law, and in exercise of the United States' inherent right to self-defense. Tensions that have engulfed. Madam President, the wave of violence since early October involves a large swath of the Middle East. Since 11 January, the United States and the United Kingdom, with the backing of six other member states, have launched strikes on Houthi positions in Yemen. Strikes have occurred consecutively over the last three days. More than 36 targets across 13 locations were reportedly struck on 3 February, including what was described as underground storage facilities, command and control sites, missile systems, UAV storage and operation sites, radars, and helicopters. An additional missile launch site was reportedly hit on 4 February. Today, sites in Hodeida were also targeted, including some very close to United Nations offices on the ground. Madam President, I reiterate the Secretary General's call on all parties to step back from the brink and to consider the unbearable human and economic cost of a potential regional conflict. It's been nearly five months since more than 1,200 Israelis were killed in the attacks by Hamas, with over 250 people taken hostage. As the Secretary General said, this has been a period of heartache and anguish for Israelis. And I echo the Secretary General's call for the immediate and unconditional release of all hostages.